hey guys welcome to another tutorial so this was requested by one of my subscriber she's a beginner and she wanted this okay so i made this video as simple as possible as short as possible so please watch this video to the very end and subscribe to this channel for more more video and do not forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified Thank you for always coming back to this channel. It means a lot to me. I'll see you in my next one. Let's dive right into this tutorial. To get started, I'll be working with this African print and my elastic thread. I'll reel this elastic thread round these bobbins so that my projects will be faster and I will also be using a sewing thread. Now the first thing I did was I folded my fabric into two and then I have front and back pattern here. Alright the next thing you will do after this is to make sure you fold according to the needed fabric and here I folded using my uh, larger circumference and that's my bust, bust divided by 4 plus 5 inches. Now I went upward and that's how I off my shoulder. I off my shoulder by 6 inches and I came down from that line by 1 inch for my folding allowance on the chest line. Then after that I went ahead to mark my ammo line which is going to also serve as my bust line. Then I marked my waist line. Now on the chest line you mark your shoulder divided by two then on the arm o line impute your bust measurement bust divided by four plus five inches then connect that straight to the neckline which is the chest line now on the waistline it's your waist divided by four plus five inches Now connect the, the points together and also blend that waistline into the hip part as shown. We are cutting this and we are almost done. Now open this up, stitch the neckline as shown with that one inch we took out and also stitch the M as shown by half an inch. So now, starting from the line, I just separated my with half an inch. Some people do one inch apart, but I'm using half inch apart. So you can use ruler to make all of these lines more visible and straight. But for me, I'll be eyeballing mine because I do not want too much chalk on this fabric. And then you are going to stop using your elastic thread on your waistline. That's what I'm marking here. So we are simply going to get to work now. So this is my sewing thread and here is my elastic thread. I'm going to wind this elastic thread not too tight and not to lose round all of these bobbins just so it makes my sewing easier and faster because you don't want to stop in the middle of your project just so you can you want to um, wind elastic around your bobbin again so just do it before you start sewing now pick your bobbin case and then loose the screw here a little just so the elastic thread would pass freely so i have i have this bobbin case permanent for my elastic thread just so i won't go over that again now you want to make sure that the tension here is tight and then you will allow the stitch length to be at five okay so now i'm just going to test my uh, elastic with a fabric first before I start with my fashion fabric and I already have what I want so I'll just go ahead 
to my fashion fabric and then you start now you're starting on the first line which is the stitch you have on your chest line and then when you get to this part you're just going to turn it over like this stick that a little then you turn again to stick the second row you're just going to do that row by row till you get to your waistline I have a question have you subscribed simply continue like this till you get to your waistline and here we go front pattern and back pattern is ready and just place right side facing as shown stitch the sides by one inch and then we move on to our sleeve just to round this up now for this sleeve i have 9.5 inches length and the width is your arm o divided by two okay your arm o divided by two plus five inches now from that point i came down by one inch just for the stitching allowance at the shoulder and then from that point I came down by 4.5 which is my caps height and that caps height line is where we'll impute our ammo measurement now I off my shoulder on the bodies by 6 inches mark that now on this part impute your ammo divided by 2 plus 5 inches now to my 6 inches there I added 2 inches extra just for fullness all right, then I connected that point to the ammo area. Here, you are going to impute your sleeve width. Sleeve width divided by 2 plus 5 inches also. Then connect those points and cut it. Now, open this up and stitch the hem and the shoulder as shown. Now, Work on this with your elastic thread just as you did on the bodies. I will show us what it's looking like. Now here is what it's looking like. For this as shown, stitch the side by one inch. So I gave this a neat finishing by locking the edges. Now turn each of these to the right side then you fix your sleeve as shown so guys here is our final look thank you for staying till the end i love you and i'll see you in my next one bye